everyone, it's Bethany. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be making these cute little mom signs. They are so quick, so easy, and they are very, very simple to personalize. So these have been trending for a while now, and they are so quick and easy to create. So they make for a really, really fun personalized gift. So we're going to be creating those today. We're going to hop into design space. In case you missed it, I did do a whole video on the brand new Cricut Offset feature, and I did a video about eight crafts that you can do using offset. So I'll be sure to link that in case you need to catch up on that because we're going to be doing some offset with this craft as well. So let's hop into Cricut Design Space. We're going to get this file all ready to go. I'll show you how easy it is to personalize and we'll get this little sign put together. All right, let's get started. Okay, so to start off my project, I am going to recreate a template based on the size of the tile that I'm going to place my design on. That will just help me size everything and get everything designed appropriately. So I'm gonna come over to shapes right over here and I will select a square and then I will insert my custom dimensions. I'm going to unlock it so that I can make it more rectangular than a square. So I'll unlock, I'll come up to width and make my width 10.5 and make my height 2.75. Now in a moment when you actually see the tile that I'm working with I'll show you how I measured it because it's actually a little bit bigger than this but I have a raised surface in the middle that I want to keep my design within so I'll show you that in a moment I'm going to also really quickly make this white just so I can get an accurate idea of what this is going to look like now I'm going to come over to text and I am going to spell out mom or mama or mommy anything that you'd like you can put here this is going to be our background layer so I am going to use the font Kate's ABC Baby Girl. It's just a nice basic font. I really like it. And it's also really thick, so it works really, really well for this type of project. So I am going to do all capital letters, and I will spell out MOM. Perfect. Okay, so you will notice that this is a double layer font. I'm only going to use one layer, so I'll just delete that second layer. And then what I will do is bring it up onto my tile template. I'm going to unlock mine, and then I'm just going to drag it and make it a little bit bigger there, just so that it fills it a little bit better. And I really like how that looks. I can also make that just a tad bigger because the tile in and itself is actually even bigger than this template. Again, I'll show you how I got this little measurement once we see the tile. Okay, so that looks really good to me. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my little offset that we will end up placing in the middle. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over to text and then I am going to choose a different font. So I'm going to do more of a script or a fancy font and I am going to use the font called Falling Leaves Print. I'm sorry, it's Falling Leaves Script. This is the print version, and then this is the script version. I purchased this in a farmhouse bundle on designbundles.com, and I'll link that in the description box below in case you really like this font as well. And then you can buy it and use it too. So I will go ahead and click that, and then I am going to spell out with all lowercase letters blessed. Now for this part, this is also where you can spell out anything you'd like, such as children's names. Another idea would be to say established um, in a certain date. So if you wanted to put the date that their first child was born and they became a mom, that would be cute as well. But I thought it'd be really cute to do blessed mom. So I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger. And the next thing I need to do, as you can see, is I need to connect my letters because it's supposed to be a cursive script font where they're all connected and they are not doing that quite yet. So I like to do it by coming up to ungroup. You can also come up to letter spacing and decrease it that way, but I personally just like to do it this way. I like having a little bit more control. So once I ungroup it, all of the letters are now standalone letters and they can be moved individually. So I can just drag and drop them where I would like. So I just like to place them manually exactly where I would like them to go. 
and that looks pretty good to me. So now that I have them where I would like them, I'll bring this B in just a little bit, I will go ahead and select all of them and I will come down and weld them together. That way they are one file again, they are all together and they will cut appropriately. If you need help learning the difference between attach versus weld, I'll place a link to a tutorial on exact the exact difference on those two functions because it's very important. Okay, so then I'm gonna bring it up here. I can size this down and I'm going to then get an idea for the size that I would like my little design to be over top. Okay, so I'm thinking that is looking pretty good. I might bring this over just a little bit more. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to create my offset. So I'm going to come up to offset and I am going to select offset right up here. And you can see that it places a little preview of the offset around the word blessed. Now let me go ahead and cancel. I'm gonna make this bigger so we can really, really see what we're doing here. And the reason why it's doing it on blessed is because we have blessed selected. So we wanna do an offset on blessed. So we'll select blessed, come up to offset, and then it will automatically have it set to 0.25. Of course, you can take that to the left to make it thinner or you can take it to the right and then that would thicken it up. I'm going to make that just a little bit thinner because the purpose of that offset is really just to create a cutout in the word mom so that we can place our letters inside. Okay so you'll see all of that in just a moment but I think a thin version of that offset is going to be really nice. So I'm going to do just about right there. Then once I like how thick or thin that is, I can go ahead and say apply and then I have my offset. Okay, so now is when I can also do any resizing that I want to do. Now if I want to resize the offset, I want to grab my words plus the offset, so both blessed. It's very important to size those together at this point, okay, so that everything fits within one another once it's time to apply it to the sign. So if you're going to do any resizing, make sure you have the actual offset plus the text that you based your offset on. Okay, so I can just see if I want to make that any bigger or smaller now that I have a visual for what my offset looks like. And I think that looks really, really nice actually, so I'm going to keep it right about there. And I'll just do any type of centering that I'd like. I might, again, making sure I have both of them selected, I may even just bring them a little bit wider just for centering purposes. And this part is just purely a visual. So whatever you like best is the right answer. Okay, I like how this looks. So once I am happy with how this looks, I am going to go ahead and lock that again. And now I am going to actually slice my offset out of the mom word. So I can at this point go ahead and hide that rectangle because everything is now sized how I would like it. So I'm going to hide the rectangle and then I'm going to take off the words. So I'll take off the top layer of the words right here and leave the offset right on the mom. So then what I can do is I can take the mom word and the offset and I will slice. Now you can only slice two layers at a time which is why I took that little blessed off just so I could quickly grab both of those by dragging. So I have both of those selected. I can come down to slice and say slice. Now what that does is it slices the offset out of my mom word so that now I have an area within this little mom word to place my letters. How quick and easy is that? That's so easy. Okay, so now we are all set to go. So we can delete these because these are just our trash from our slicing. And this is our final design and our final look. So very, very fun. Okay, so now I'm all ready to go. So now I'm just going to kind of color code to see which colors I want to place in my machine. This is really unnecessary, but I just visually like to do it so that when it's time to load my material, I know exactly what to load. So I'm going to do a blue floral for my outside, and then my inside is going to be a gray. 
Okay, so I'm all set. I can go ahead and I have my joy selected. You can use any cutting machine for this project and I will go ahead and say make it. Now it's going to ask me how I want to load my material. I'm using full size material, so I'm going to say on a mat. That way I can use my full size material and just trim it down to fit through the joy. I'll say done. And then of course it has my first color on the first mat and then it separates my second color onto the second mat. I can go ahead and say continue and then it's going to locate my joy and then I can go ahead and make my selection. I will just say premium vinyl for my cut setting. Now I'll load my material and get everything cut out. Okay, so this is the little tile that I'm going to be using. I found it at Hobby Lobby and I like it because it's a nice framed tile. And I have a little raised edge so the tile actually comes up in the middle and it just raises up in a little in the middle just a little bit. So that's why I was just accounting for the inner rectangle that you see there. Just because I wanted to make sure that I had a flat area where my vinyl was going to lay on. I think that visually just will look a lot better. So you'll see that when I zoom in a little bit more, but it's just a little bit raised in the middle. So I did apply some rubbing alcohol to the surface here just to allow it to dry and get it all cleaned up and prepped for the vinyl. But now I will go ahead and load my machine and this first piece will start cutting out. Okay, so that first piece is done. So I will just bend my mat away from the vinyl. That way it doesn't disrupt my vinyl. And then I can place my second piece onto the mat here and allow that to cut out. Then we'll get to weeding. And while that second piece is cutting out, I'm just going to trim all of my uncut or unused vinyl. That way I can save it for another project. And now with a weeding tool, I can just weed out both the designs and get them all ready to be placed on the sign. Again, with this inside part, you could spell out names or do whatever you'd like. And it's really a fun and easy gift to personalize. Other ideas are, you could say mom, mom of girls, um, you could say the established date. Again, there's so many fun ideas that you could just really run with this project. Okay, so I have my little blessed and now I'm going to carefully weed out this pattern final to reveal the mom. Okay, so both pieces have been weeded and now I'm going to use my transfer tape and just trim this down a little bit. That way I can save some of it that I don't need. So I like to just place my design over the transfer tape and then I just trim the unnecessary piece off. I also recommend using a clear transfer tape for this project because it will be much easier to line up the inside blessed piece when you can see through your transfer tape. So I will grab my little weeding tool. I like to poke the edge just like I would when weeding vinyl to bring that up. And then I can place my transfer tape right on my first piece of vinyl. So I will be laying down the mom piece first because it's easier to center your biggest piece first on your design. And then of course, this will be very easy to place on the inside once this piece is down. So I'll grab my scraper and scrape this down, flip it over and scrape it down one more time. Once again, I did apply some rubbing alcohol on a little cotton swab and just wiped that surface down just to make sure it's nice and ready to go for my vinyl. It'll help the vinyl stick better. And then I'll just peel away my cutting sheet, leaving my vinyl on the transfer tape. Okay, so that piece is all ready. And now I am ready to apply it to my little base here. Okay, so there's one little spot. There we go. Thought I saw something on there. Now I will just center this and being careful because once 
that vinyl clings down onto the tile, it is going to want to stick. So be really careful that you don't lay it down too soon. Okay, so I think that looks good. So I'll lay that down, flatten it out, and then just bring my scraper tool in and really press down. Okay, and then very gently so I don't scratch my tile, I'll just grab a little corner of that transfer tape and peel the transfer tape away, leaving my pretty design on my base there. Then I'll reuse this transfer tape to save material. You can reuse transfer tape quite a bit. I always just monitor mine to make sure it's sticky enough and usually you can get at least a few tries out of it. Okay, so I'll place it right on this little blessed, just like that. Okay, scrape it down on the front and back and then peel it up. Okay, and I am going to trim down that just a little bit just to help me keep it at a manageable size there. Okay, and then we have a little template to lay it within. So then it's pretty easy. You just kind of line it up and lay it down. Just like so. Okay. So cute. Then scrape. And peel. Okay, there it is. So quick and so easy and I love the way it turned out. Such a wonderful little piece to personalize any way you'd like. All right, everyone, if you enjoyed this, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.